What is going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here back with another Game Maker Studio tutorial and today is our second part in our coding for beginners series. And today we're going to be talking about functions and variables within Game Maker that Game Maker Studio already creates for you to use. Right? So there are hundreds, literally hundreds of these variables and functions that Game Maker is already created within their internal scripts of the software. So an example of something like that would be, you know, show message. That's a function within GameMaker. Um, as far as variables, I mean, we have the health variable that GameMaker uh, gives us, which you'll know if it's a variable within GameMaker, if it gets highlighted like this, if you're using the default code editor settings. Um, you know, score. That's one. I think lives are also one. Yep. You know, stuff like that. We've also got, you know, like argument zero. Those are uh, variables that GameMaker has already created for us to use. All right. So let's go ahead and delete this. Now, there's a whole list of them. Like I said, literally hundreds. So I'm going to go ahead and put a website link in the description and on screen here for you to go to and you can literally read up on every single function in GameMaker. So yeah, today what I think we're going to be doing is, you know, it would take so long to get through all of those that it wouldn't even be worth it and if you want one specific one, there's no way to see what at what time in the video I'm going to be explaining that one. So that's why I'm giving you the link. And today we're going to just start off at the very basics again. And we're just going to create like a player that you can move with your keys through code. Now the, again, this is very basic and you could probably just look this up yourself without going through this video. You probably already know how to do such a thing. Um, but we're just going to show you and maybe I can do a little bit of explaining on the way. Maybe you can learn something. All right. So I went ahead and created a sprite SBR box uh, 32 by 32. We're just going to use that and um, drag him in the center of the room there. And we can do a lot of things on how we're gonna actually go about doing a movement system. I'm just gonna do the very basics. But, I mean, we can do things like key binding and stuff for future, uh, it, if you want in the menu systems where they can change out the keys that, you know, do what, you know. We can do a lot of that stuff. <clears throat> But for now, we're just going to do the very basics. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the step event here. And we go into the step event because that's what updates at our room speed, which is 60 times per second. If you change it, at default, it's 30. So every time this object is in the room, it's going to run through the step event 60 times a second. So inside here, we can just basically check. And now this is going to be a GameMaker Studio function if, in parentheses, keyboard underscore check VK underscore right X plus equals five and that right there is very basic code using functions and variables okay so we're basically calling this keyboard check function and that keyboard check function is saying basically um, it's it's a game maker internal script that's saying if our keyboard input is touching or is using the right key on the keyboard then it's going to return a true value okay so if we go ahead and go into the script here let's create a quick script and let me just kind of show you what it's basically saying so if we say you know keyboard check right it's basically and now I'm gonna be using the keyboard check and stuff like this but it's just basically saying, you know, if um, keyboard check VK right return true, else return false. And this goes into return return statements. And that's basically saying if you call this script and we are pressing the right key, then return true. So return true basically means do whatever next. If it returns false, it's not going to do whatever 
in this next uh, um, placement here. Now again, if you're only going to have one statement after a if statement, you don't need to put the uh, brackets. But if it makes it easier for you, go ahead and put the brackets in just so you know. If keyboard check BK right, then it's going to say x plus equals 5, right? So if we go ahead and run this, let it compile here. And we hit the right key, as you can see, our player goes right. Now, with the script we just created here, return true, return false, we can basically do the exact same thing. We can just say if keyboard check right which turns highlights blue because that is a uh, function which you, because it's a function you need to put these two parentheses here so if keyboard check right and we run it and we hit right we still go right and that's because this script that we made is doing the exact same thing as our keyboard check is except without using this keyboard check it's just basically the logic is the same there it's not it doesn't look like this exactly um, just the logic is the same so we'll go and delete that and we'll go back into if keyboard underscore check bk underscore right and we'll get into scripts probably next tutorial because uh, scripts are a whole nother thing in themselves. You know, you've got arguments, you've got you know those simple return statements that I showed you just glimpsed at. Uh, you've got a lot of stuff that is very helpful for you, and uh, I use them all the time. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, you could put the brackets in if that helps you. So I'm just going to copy this, and we're just going to do it for all four keys, right? And instead of VK left, we're going to say VK right. VK up and VK down. So here I'm going to say minus equals. This is Y minus equals. This is Y plus equals. Now again, it's using these X and Y values, which are already uh, relative to our test object. Since we're using it inside the OBJ test step event. When we refer to x and y values, it's referring to our object's x and y values. So now if we run it, we now have movement all around the board, which is pretty cool. And again, that's very, very basic stuff, very basic movement system. Um, yeah so that's probably going to be it for this tutorial next tutorial i want to get into scripts now again i just kind of showed you what i want you guys to do before the next tutorial is i want you guys to go ahead and go to that website that i've shown you in the description go ahead and look some stuff over look over the variables look over the functions look over what some stuff does maybe play around with it a little bit see if you can get anything going in game maker not so much as a game i'm talking about testing logic and testing the functions what they do all right so i will see you guys next time peace